Okay, I literally had to get out of bed because I just read something that I think is gonna change, I, I hope is gonna change a lot of Western perception of Islam because I'm, hold on. Okay, it was on the top shelf. Um, chapter three, um, uh, 52 through, um, 55. Okay. When Jesus sensed disbelief from his people, he asked, who will stand up with me for Allah? The disciples replied, we will stand up for Allah. We believe in Allah. So bear witness that we have submitted. They prayed to Allah, O oh Lord, we believe in your revelations and follow the messenger. So count us among those who bear witness. And the disbelievers made a plan against Jesus, but Allah also planned, and Allah is the best of planners. Remember, when Allah said, O oh Jesus, I will take you and raise you up to myself. I will deliver you from those who disbelieve and elevate your father of your followers above the disbelievers until the day of judgment. Then to me you all will return and I will settle all your disputes. Islam believes in the second coming of Christ. Islam Islam believes in the second coming of Christ. That's like <laughs> what? <laughs> and just in case anyone's concerned that I'm misinterpreting it, according to Dr. Katab's uh, uh, footnote. I'm not going to say the word because I am not good at uh, other languages, but M U T A W A F F I K A means literally, I will make you reach the end of your worldly term. The proper, the popular Muslim belief is that a conspiracy was made to kill Jesus. Allah made the main culprit who betrayed Jesus look exactly like Jesus while the culprit was cru crucified. Similar to Christians, Muslims believe the second coming of Christ. <laughs> I don't know how to react. I don't, I don't know how to react to this information. <laughs> what? It's nothing like we've been told. Uh, nothing like we've been told. 